All right, welcome back to the course on the cognitive biases. Today, we are going to go over the reciprocity bias, all right? So remember, this is your course on cognitive biases, logical fallacies, tendencies that we tend to slip into that can make our life harder, although you can use a lot of these to your advantage, and I'll show you how here in a second. All right, so we are talking about the reciprocity bias, as I said today, um, this is also known as the law of reciprocal altruism. So what does that mean? So let's just go ahead and define the reciprocity bias kind of in a nutshell. So basically what it says is that whatever you do for somebody, they have a tendency, a desire even, to want to reciprocate that, which means to want to give back. Now, normally we think about this in terms of what? In terms of nice things that we do. Uh, charity or helping somebody out or giving somebody a hand of some kind you know what I'm saying maybe you let them borrow some money or whatever maybe if you work at a sort of job to where you're like man I'm gonna be I'm, I'm sick this day or I'm gonna be out of town can you cover my shift or my work they're like yeah all right I'll do it but then you kind of have the feeling of you need to do that back for them that's the reciprocity bias all right so let me tell you how this sort of thing works that you may have seen in a, another situation. So you go into a supermarket or maybe like a Sam's Club or something like that. Usually this happens closer uh, to the morning time, but not always. And let's, let's say you go in there and you see a bunch of people out with their little kiosks or maybe, or they have a little table, like I got this little table over here behind me. And what do they have on it? They have free samples of something they're selling. Right? It could be cheeses, it could be fruits, it could be, uh, I don't know, their drinks. Maybe they're doing a wine tasting. This is a big one. So those things are normally free. All right, let's go ahead and let, let me show you what's going on here. So we got this person right here. I don't know why they have three legs. There we go. And let's say they have a table like that. That is my version of a table at a supermarket with a bunch of, let's say they got a bunch of little cheeses on here, draw these little squares. As you guys may have found, I am a fantastic artist. Thank you very much. So you got all these little cheeses and, and they, had the, they had the little picks in them. Let's draw the little picks, little toothpicks, right? That they got, I mean, you pick one up, they're like, hey, free sample, here's you. This is you, okay, you. And you got one of these little cheeses so you're holding that thing and you're like hell yeah this thing this is a pretty good piece of cheese man you guys uh you guys uh did something nice for me let me taste this little cheese and you know something i might actually want to buy some of these that's the reciprocity bias even if you don't like the cheese you have a little bit more of a tendency to be like okay well this person right here okay let's say sales clerk maybe I don't know what they would be called. That person right there, maybe the grocer, is giving you the piece of cheese and making you and instilling this, uh, whoa, this rapport, actually. The reciprocity bias, by the way, is one of the fastest ways to build rapport and, in fact, works very well in sales situations. So you see this, uh, a lot of the times, you, you will see this um, not just here, but like when you go to test drive a car, for example, that's kind of giving you something, even though it might not exactly seem like it. It's kind of giving you something and making you be like, okay, this person, they invested some time into me. They invested some effort. They took like time out of their day and been like, yeah, I want to go hang out with this person and, and help them find their car needs or something. Let's go drive one of our cars around totally free, right? That's, that triggers the reciprocity bias a little bit. It's the same thing as this because test driving a car is a free sample, uh, essentially so. So you, t you pick up a piece of cheese, you're a little bit more likely to buy that cheese they're selling. But it's not just that. It's anything that is in this situation, any other thing that is around them. There's some crackers, there's maybe some spread like some hummus or something, maybe maybe they're selling chips or candy or something with it. Like I said, wine tastings are a huge thing. You ever go to Starbucks or 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 a place like that and once in a while they'll do they'll make a bunch of a drink and then they'll take it out in all those little cups and then they'll send it out onto 
the into the their little it's not a dining room but you know what i mean where everybody sits just a lounge area and they offer them free samples that is this right here they're triggering reciprocity bias all of those people are much more likely to buy something it doesn't even need to be the same thing remember you don't have to buy this cheese because the reciprocity bias works with you wanting to reciprocate you're like well okay if i do buy something here I'm gonna make sure that I find this person who was nice enough to look out for me to begin with. Does that make sense? So, what does this mean? Like I said, it doesn't have to be just with the cheese or just with the one drink Starbucks gave you. You might go up there and be like, you know something, now that I'm up here, I actually want this drink. But that situation would never have happened for them had they not given you the free sample. It's not always just with free samples, like I said. Somebody does something nice for you, like, ah, oh, man, I got a flat tire. Can you uh, help me change it? Or can you drive me, uh, yeah, you got AAA or something. I don't have AAA. You got AAA. Can you call them for me or something? Those things are huge. It, it builds camaraderie and it builds rapport. Like I said, reciprocity bias, it doesn't have to just be free samples, although that's a way that you can see it in action. Anytime you go somewhere and you see free samples going on, they are triggering that reciprocity bias. And what did we say? The law of reciprocal altruism tells us that we are much more likely to engage with somebody who has done something nice for us. Like I said, it doesn't have to be the same exact thing. Maybe somebody helped you fix a flat tire and what you're gonna do for them is like, hey man, uh, dang, I have to work a long shift at work today. Can, can you go pick my son or daughter up from school just like this one time? And you're like, yeah, I got you. Cause you remember what was going on. In a sales situation, you don't have to necessarily buy the thing. That's not the point. That's not the point of the cognitive biases. The things are not the points. Relationships and the tendencies that they push you into are the point. All right? So I hope that made a lot of sense to everybody. This is a very, very powerful one. This is one of my favorite ones. And the nice thing about that is it makes you feel nice too. Now remember, as with everything, it can be used in a negative way. You can trigger the reciprocity bias. If you do something mean to somebody, they're gonna want to do something mean back to you or just not have anything to do with you. That's triggering it in the negative way. Um, Robert Greene and his books, you probably have seen some of them, uh, 48 Laws of Power and the Laws of Seduction and the Laws of Human Nature, stuff like that that he writes. A lot of times he'll come up with a law, like he'll say something, something like this. And then he'll be like, here's the reversal, though. The reversal of that is that if you're mean, you're going to get mean things happen to you. All right. And like I said, it doesn't have to be with the same uh, subject matter. It don't got to be some cheese on a table. You see what I mean? So that is the reciprocity bias and the law of reciprocal altruism. OK, so. Thank y'all so much for being here for this one and have a beautiful day.